What's going on YouTube, Geosnow right here, so in today's video we're discussing a couple of tools that have been released or that will be released in the jailbreak community for various purposes, for example downgrades and jailbreak, but they're all pretty interesting. Now these tools are coming from various sources, so let's dive in. Now of course all these tools will be based on the Checkmate exploit, which has been released by Axiom X, and as I predicted a couple of days after the exploit was released, there will be a lot of tools based on that exploit, because it's actually very very powerful, and the first tool we're going to talk about today is one that has been updated just a couple of hours ago and it's called Nightshade and it says in here quote a boot chain jailbreak and downgrade utility for A6. Now I'm not sure if this is going to be only for A6 or is going to be updated in the future because this might be a limitation on the developer side they may only have an A6 device or of course it may be a limitation on the devices themselves on what this tool can be used on though it may not be the case. So it says in here features allows downgrades and custom firmware to be loaded which is actually quite nice if you're able to load CFWs or custom made firmware, you can do a variety of things. You can do downgrades, you can do iCloud bypass and so on. It also allows jailbreaks and hacktivation, which hacktivation is actually the iCloud bypass and it's Mac only for the moment. Now you're going to see that many tools based on the Checkmate exploit by Axiom X are actually macOS only for the moment. The reason for that is the Checkmate exploit, which cannot be used on Windows or Linux reliably for the moment. Now for Linux, it can be used, however, but development is a little bit different on Linux. You have to do various things in order to be able to create proper programs on Linux that would work with graphical user interfaces and so on. And the graphical user interface development is different on Linux for multiple Linux distributions. So yeah, it's definitely not easy. But anyways, this tooling here is actually quite promising and and the important thing it's open source and of course we can see the entire development because when something is based on a bootroom exploit or a secure room exploit like this in here you would definitely be more comfortable knowing exactly what's inside the code especially since this exploit can be used and apparently has been used by different companies to do various nasty things for example to extract data and so on now this in here allows you to downgrade and load custom made firmware and as i said this is an important thing if you're planning to do any sort of ios downgrades or icloud bypass now, speaking of loading custom stuff, Ben Murphy posted this in here, quote, iPhone 6 running custom 12.4 kernel thanks to Rain Snow, Star, and exploit payload stolen from CheckRain. By the way, iBeck uses hex 20 in the look behind buffer instead of hex 0 when decompressing the kernel image. And he posted in here a device loading a custom kernel with no problem, tethered of course, using the checkmate exploit and of course using Timstar's rainstone in here. And Timstar posted quote, nice to see my generic lib offset 64 patches work well with the iPhone 6, I only tried it on iPhone 5s, but technically all 64 bit checkmate devices should be supported. Now why is this important? Well, if you're able to load a custom kernel onto the device and have it boot properly, you might be able to even load a patched kernel in there to allow various things, to disable Amphi and to do jailbreak patches and so on. I can help but but wonder if we are able to somehow unlock the NVRAM, which would allow us to just inject things in there, for example the nonce generators and stuff like that, which would allow us to do proper downgrades in the future. This is actually more of a research type thing which is important because we currently do not know how to properly downgrade our devices using this very powerful bootroom exploit. This tool in here is one of the first that does that, but as you can see in here it's only for A6 for the moment. We still need to figure out a lot of things because SEP, which is Secure Enclave Process, and the basement still play an important role into the downgrades and of course once we figure those out we will be able to go on any iOS version we want on those devices. But yeah this tool in here is actually a very good start. We're able to load custom kernels which is definitely a very big start. Now speaking of big start and research, Will, a former jailbreaker posted quote, stay tuned over the next few months, we have some killer new updates and apps on the pipeline, as well as some cool things in the works to help out the jailbreak and research community and he clarified that this is not going to be another jailbreak tool. He posted quote, not another tool for the foreseeable future. Check rain will be the way to go. We are more focused on putting out research about apps and of course the iOS system and helping others in the community to learn whether they want to analyze privacy issues or try creating their own jailbreak tools. So apparently more research will be posted in the future around the checkmate exploit which is actually used in this tool in here but this is only the beginning. So yeah that's pretty much it guys. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to stay updated. I'm Geosnow and till next time. Peace out.